Hello and welcome to another 15 tips that make Blender easy. Let's go. Want to make hair in Blender? Here's how. Add a particle system and set it as hair. Increase the number and decrease the length. Tick hair dynamics and increase the weight and stiffness. Then under children, choose interpolated and then increase the amount. You can then add a material and click play and you're done. The easiest way to add animations to your Blender project is to head over to Mixamo. Here you can choose between loads of different characters and animations. Once you've chosen a combination, click download. You can then head over to Blender and click import FBX. And it's that easy, you now have a fully animated character in your scene. This also obviously comes with bones. You can select these to edit the animation and customize it further. Create this moving through clouds effect by adding a mix node, change it to color and multiply, then add a camera data node and a map range node. Multiply the camera data node with an image of a cloud. So this setup will fade the image of the cloud the closer the camera gets to it. So when you animate the camera moving, the clouds will fade away. To have access to hundreds of high quality procedural materials, go to Sanctus Material Library, then download and enable the plugin. You can now open the drop down and choose between hundreds of materials, and you can then edit and customize them. This is a great way to get easy materials that you can fit to your project needs. You've been beveling wrong. If I was to bevel these edges here, you can see that there's some wonky geometry in the middle, and that's a no-no. So instead what we do is we bevel, and then we open up the drop-down. You can then go to Miller Outer and change Sharp to Arc, and look at that, much better. So if I was to extrude this edge here, you can see that it would mess up the texture. But all we have to do to correct this is come up to Option, and check Correct Face Attributes. Now, when I extrude this edge, the texture will follow. You can make these epic fire, smoke and explosion effects in about 5 minutes. All you have to do is head over to smoke and fire FX and download it. You'll then get a sample project which demonstrates the different effects. And all you have to do to edit this is copy it over into your own project and then head over to your modifiers. Here you'll be able to fully customise any of the VFX and you can get some pretty cool results. To create this water droplet effect in Blender, add a glass BSDF node, then add a bump node. Connect that to the normal of your glass, then add a water droplet video. You can download this online. Connect that to the height and the roughness and you're done. It's that simple. So you might know that I lets you inset faces, but did you know that if you then hold control, you can have further control over this. This can be really useful for adding some fine details to your model. So I have three objects here, each with their own modifier. If I select them all and change the value of the modifier, it will only affect one. But if I select them all and then press Alt-Enter, when I change the value, it will affect them all. This also works for transform, scale and rotation. Do you want to make sci-fi worlds with the click of a button or even just realistic natural scenes? Head over to GeoScatter and download some of the collections. I'm going to choose the Spring Collection and the Future Scratch Collection. Once you've done that and also downloaded the plugin, you'll have access to a drop down. Choose the floor as the target and then click Create Biome. It's then as easy as choosing a scatter. There are loads of different options and this can make some really detailed and impressive results with just the click of a button. And look at that. Want access to fully customizable industrial elements? Here's how. Download Industrial Geonodes, it's free, and then open the sample project. To use the Geonodes, create the plane and delete half. You can then add the geonode modifier and play around with the settings. Once you're happy, you can then extrude this element. You can also fully customize the materials. This is a really great add-on if you're going for that industrial warehouse look. Don't waste your time sculpting or modeling the fine details. Time is money, people, and you can have access to loads of height maps and normal maps right from Google. Just drop these onto your material and you'll make fake details. 
I know this is a kind of obvious tip, but a lot of people don't think of it. You can then do the same thing with your diffuse map and quickly make material. Sometimes it can feel overwhelming to open your material editor, especially if you're a beginner. But a lot of people don't realize that you can edit materials right from the main window. You can change their color and metallic and roughness. So this is a great way to learn if you're a beginner, but also just speed up the whole process and quickly get your ideas down without having to go to the shading tab. If I want to extrude this face down, you'll see I can't with just E. I need to press Alt E and select extrude manifold. If I want to extrude multiple faces out, again, E won't work. Press Alt E and extrude along normals. Lastly, if I choose spin, you get quite an interesting result. And that's it guys. Thanks for watching and I hope that helped. If it did, consider leaving a like or a subscription as that really helps me. And yeah, see you, see you in the next one. Bye.